welcome back. Today for dinner, I'll be making chicken kebab with crusted mashed potato. Okay, let's start. So the first thing we should do is cook uh, the potatoes. I have the potatoes uh, cooking here. They're actually, uh, they're about 70% cooked through. You don't want to like, you don't want to make it fall apart. Okay, now I'm going to chop up some onions and the onion is going to go in the mashed potato. A little salt on the onion. And while we're waiting for the onions to cook, we can prepare the meat. I have uh, two chicken breasts here that I'm gonna cut in pieces. And this will go in the food processor. So let's bring it to the food processor. Wash my hands. I need some salt in here. A little bit of quick oats, some dehydrated onions, and a little black pepper. Give us a few pulses. This onion looks ready. We're gonna put it into the cooking bag. And you want to let this cool down a little bit, just so that you can touch it. Okay, so um, I'm going to let the mashed potato cool down a little bit. And I have these wooden skewers here. So we're going to get like a, about a piece that big. And 
try to get it onto the skewer. And if it sticks to your hand, you could always dip your hand in some water. Okay, that looks, that looks good. Okay, we'll put that there. And then we'll go to the next one. And I have the oven preheating at 425 degrees. We're gonna bake these in the oven. Try to get all of them the same size so they all cook at the same time. This one's still a little bit too big. Okay, so the chicken skewers are all ready. They look good. And my mashed potato is a little bit more manageable. So I'm gonna take a, a ball of the potato, just how I did the chicken, and apply it to the chicken on all sides. Just cover the whole chicken, and this will really help the chicken to stay moist and tender inside. This is the pan it's gonna cook in, so I'm gonna coat it with some olive oil so it doesn't stick. And let's do another one. Ready. I had enough mash for only four of them, but it's okay. So this will go in the oven, 425 degrees, for about 30 minutes, and halfway through, I'll flip them to get them all brown on all sides. So those skewers will be ready in about five minutes. In the meantime, I'll be making a quick dipping sauce. So I have here some Greek yogurt, and just a clove of garlic. Okay, I just took it out of the oven. It's right here. I'm going to garnish it with some green onions and some quartered tomatoes. And I just wanted to slice one up for you guys to see how juicy it is inside. And I'll put some yogurt sauce on it. There you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.